Hello, uh, my name's Charlie, and I'm going to try to attempt to show uh, how to uh, log into the uh, GRT website to download the software and possibly to, uh, once it's downloaded, to install it on your computer. So here we go. First thing you have to get into the uh, GRT uh, OOLS.de website. See the URL is right here. You have to agree to the function, the uh, cookies. It's just very basic; doesn't really track anything. Uh, and I suggest that you read through all of these uh, first first paragraphs here and uh, look at some of the uh, the pictures. Then what you're going to have to do uh, to be able to download the software, before you do that though, you, you want to look at uh, what documentation is available here and possibly uh, look at the uh, FAQ how-to page. You can read through these different things. I'm not going to open them all up. You can look at it yourself. But to, uh, to be able to get to the downloads, you have to register. So. Uh, I'm going to run the uh, registration here real quick. Uh, since I uh, am going to send it to my uh, Gmail, I'm going to actually open up Gmail over here. And we can switch back and forth between the tabs. So, just register. Just choose a simple username, you know, something that's familiar with with uh, yourself. Don't get too complicated, uh, but try and choose something uh, that's going to be unique. In other words, I'm sure John has already taken, you know, so you, that's not going to work. You have to use something, something more uh, basic. So I'm going to just start here. And the real name, username is can be the same. And we're going to send it off to my email address. And then comes the funny part. Uh, seems like a lot of people can't figure out what the abbrevi abbreviation of uh, Gordon's Reloading Tool would be in capital letters. Well, you know, Gordon would say if they can't figure it out, don't show them because that means they're probably too ignorant to run software like this. But eventually, uh, eventually, you know, that'll piss off too many people. So we're just going to put it in here. And we click Register. And you should get, if everything's going okay, in a few seconds you'd get this green line up here. It says it's been sent to the uh, to your email, and uh, please check your spam or junk folders. Seems like a lot of people can't read that and figure it out. But that's how it goes. Uh, so here we go. We got a notification automatically. And you can see that it gave uh, for login, let me in one. Uh, there's a password. So I just copy the password. Go back here, put in. Put in the username. And paste in the password and hit login and you see oh, all of a sudden it said uh, you know I can save the password but I'm not going to uh, and you're now in a login screen where the two versions of GRT is available one for Windows one for Linux and you can see up here you can go into the profile excuse me and you can up to date the profile and delete the account if you like, which is what I'm going to do. But uh, 
you can also as long as you know your password you can put in a new password something that's easier to remember and confirm the, with the old password hit save and then from then on you can log in with your favorite password uh, one thing you don't want to do when you're making the account is you know my my uh, email is cg1sears at gmail.com don't put cg1sears at, g, at uh, as a username this wiki web page which is free to to us we don't really pay for it doesn't like it whenever the uh, email address beginning is used as a username it just it always dies so anyways uh, we'll go back to the download page here and we can download the software so as you can see boom the software's downloading here it takes it a little while but only a minute or so and as soon as it uh, downloads we'll uh, we'll go install it Okay, we're about halfway there, so maybe two minutes for, for my web speed. It's supposed to be 100 megabits per second. It's a little less than that usually. Nearly there. Okay, so now we have it. We can go click on the little arrow, say show in folder, and you'll see it's here. It's this, uh, this one here. So what we do is we have to extract it. This is a zip file. It's an archive. You cannot run the software from within that folder. You can double click on it all you want and you can find the program but it's always going to come up with this text type file uh, icon and it's going to fail so just don't try it go back and do it right and to do it right you just right click come down to extract all and you can either browse to a location on your C drive or you can uh, extract it as I'm going to do right in your downloads folder And it didn't take very long. But it takes more than five seconds. Okay, and what it does is it, it'll take you, the Windows will take you to the working folder. But what really happens is your zip file produces a working folder, and within the working folder is a subfolder, which is really the working folder. What I do just to make it simpler is I rename the file I just call it or the folder GRT and in this instance since I already have it installed several times on my computer I'm just going to change it to GRT test I'm going to then copy the file or the folder and I'm going to go down to my C drive don't put it on your desktop if you do, it's going to bomb and everybody
everybody's going to moan and groan and say, why is it doing that? And if it's just not going to work. Uh, anyways, we go and paste that GRT test folder down into your C drive. You can put it on a thumb drive or another drive number, but don't put it in your desktop or another place where it's uh, somewhat restricted. So now it's in here. We can double click on it. Best thing is uh, right click and say pin it to your taskbar and maybe pin it to your start button. I'm not going to do it because I already have that on my screen. But if you just double click on the executable file, you're going to get this blue Windows protected your PC screen. It's because this is a uh, portable program it doesn't modify the Windows registry in any manner or substitute any files uh, it's all self-contained in this working folder so all you have to do is hit more info say run anyways and it's going to initialize the database in most cases this initialization will take less time than what you're going to see here and the reason it's taken mine so long is I happen to have thousands of auxiliary database files in my system, so it has to update it. Anyways, it didn't take too long. You can read through the the uh, license, but it's not going to stop you if you don't. But you have to say understood and don't show this again, or it's going to show up every time you start up. So just click OK come over here and say don't show this dialog box anymore I suggest you use expert mode to start with because at least you'll see every feature if you don't want to run expert mode later on you'll have the opportunity to change it to compact mode but select expert mode and let it run and so now we have it running on our screen and first thing you want to do is uh, make couple of uh, decisions. If you like this colorblind uh, taskbar, toolbar, that's fine. I can't stand it, but uh, just click view and on check the modern mono icons and you get nice colored ones. I like color. The other thing you want to do initially is come down here and change the default units probably to whatever you're used to. If you're a metric person, use metric. Otherwise, you know, use imperial. That will change all the places where you see these little ruler icons into the units desired. You can come along later on and you can change any of these back and forth between metric, you know, on a line by line basis. But it's there. Uh, First, the other thing you want to do is you want to familiarize yourself with all these menus. Read down through them and kind of get an idea what they, they give you. Uh, and right here, you can see I said you could change it from expert mode to uh, compact. Just uncheck the button and you're in compact mode. Come back to view and say I want expert mode you got it. So for every menu item uh, in GRT you'll usually find a, a uh, icon on the taskbar that's usable or they will be here like uh, right here if I click on this heading uh, which will take me to the bullet database right there and to the bullet that was selected. Or I can come up here to Extras and say I want the projectile database. It's the same place, only it didn't go to the bullet that you had selected. So there's usually two or three ways in GRT to get to every uh, opening. So that's the basic how to get it going and I'm going to stop the video here how to use it yeah we'll see what happens anyways take care